In this video, we will show you how to replace your blower motor resistor on this Acura MDX. This will be accessed from under your passenger side dash. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. To gain access to the actuator, we're going to have to dislodge the lower panel. When doing so, be extremely careful because there is a wiring harness that leads down in this area. We do not want to cause any damage. To dislodge this, carefully take hold of this small port and lightly pull it down. Now that we have that pulled down, we'll continue on with those two wiring harnesses you can see right here. As for this first one towards the driver's side, the locking tab's actually closer to the panel, so we're going to have to reach along this area. We'll squeeze it in and dislodge this. Just a quick inspection for corrosion. Continue on to the next wiring harness. This locking tab is out in the open right up along the top area. Now that we have those disconnected, let's follow this all the way over towards the passenger side of the dash. We're going to have to dislodge this as well. For this, you just want to carefully try to pull it straight downward. It does have a locking clip. You can see that it's already dislodged right there. Once you have the front popped free, we can continue on by pulling this straight out and away. With that lower panel out of the way, you can see the blower motor right along here. As we move towards the firewall, you can see the blower motor resistor. This is going to be very simple to remove. First, we'll start with the electrical connector. For the electrical connector, it has a locking tab up along the top. We're going to depress that. We'll disconnect this, a quick inspection for corrosion, and set that wiring harness aside. Once you've disconnected the connector, we're going to move along to each of our two 7mm mounting bolts. You can see one out here in the open, the other one's just over on the other side of this. I'll start with the one that's hardest to get to towards the driver's side. Let's get the second one out of there and we can remove the resistor from the area. Let's take hold of that resistor and remove it from the vehicle. There it is, friend. With that out of position, the next thing we need to do is clean and inspect the mounting area. Ensure there's no miscellaneous debris or damage. Just use a clean rag for this. Quick wipe. Now it's time to install our blower motor resistor. When installing it, you want to make sure you have it in the proper orientation so we have our locking tab facing upward. Let's get this in position and start in each of our two mounting bolts. Once they're both started, snug them up. We'll take hold of that, give it a quick wiggle, ensuring that it's properly secured. If this is loose, you're going to have an issue. Continue on with your electrical connector. For this, we just want to align it, press it in, listen for a click, and a light tug to ensure it's properly secured in place. I heard an audible click, a little tug, that feels good. Now it's time for the lower panel. When we bring it into position, we want to pay attention along the back side here. You can see that there's two mounting slots for that panel to slide into, so we'll have it rested in there. Continue on with our two electrical connectors. Once everything's in, we can go ahead and start raising it up and latch it into each one of its mounting points. You can see my little tabs. We're gonna get those pretty close to aligned here. Obviously, we don't have to spend too much time on that because it's gonna start falling out. Let's get this aligned, press it in, listen for a click. We got our next one, okay. Now we're just double checking that rearward mounting. We'll start swinging this up. We want to try to get it aligned with its mounting points along the front as well.
Once you feel as though you have it latched in, we're just gonna give it a little tug, ensuring that it's properly secured. We don't want this falling down on us while we're driving down the road. Okay, friend, we finished the installation of our blower motor resistor. The next thing you need to do is put the key in the on position and test the blower motor on all speeds, ensuring that it's functioning properly. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.